Because one advantage is that if you learn the language with the skills that you have already, you are able to get jobs. Guys, I've just been wasting money. Like I use, I, I pay like 46 euros in every month for my bus pass. Meanwhile, as a student, my insurance was supposed to give me like a document so that I can take it to the bus. Um, company office and they were going to give me a reduction. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. I'm called Flavin <laughs> and I'm an international student based here in Belgium and on my channel I like to make immigration videos like the one you're about to watch now. I also like to make lifestyle content where I just show you guys how I'm navigating my life as a young girl living in Belgium. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I feel you should do when you get to Belgium. The first point is that when you get here, depending on where you are going to live, okay, so if you choose the Flemish region, I highly recommend that you sign up for Dutch lessons. But if you're going to live in Brussels or in any other region where they speak maybe French, I highly recommend that you go and take your French lessons. That's if you don't know the language, okay? Because one advantage is that if you learn the language with the skills that you have already, you are able to get jobs. And you know, you are able to get jobs that are tailored to your academic needs. But if you don't know the language, you only know maybe English and whatever language it is that you know, you know, you'll be, you'll be on the shorter end of the road because you only have to maybe work in warehouses, work, you know, odd jobs. And, and this is no shade to any object because I work in a warehouse myself. But what I'm trying to say is that if you learn the language, you are going to, you know, have an upper hand, like you have an advantage because I've, I've lost opportunities like you guys know I'm, I like digital marketing you know I love things that have to do with content creation I am so passionate about marketing anything that has to do with any of those things okay but then you need to understand that if you want to deal with marketing you want to do digital marketing you want to work as a content anything you are supposed to know the language of the people okay so how are we going to come up with a marketing campaign if I cannot even speak Dutch so that's the point that I'm trying to say please when you come here I know that some people say that there is no need for them to you know learn the language but coming from personal experience I highly highly recommend that you sign up for your Dutch lessons or your French lessons and now this is another thing I if you attend like a school make sure that um, you sign your Dutch lessons in the region or the area where you live because it's going to be cheaper. I attend VUB, that's very university in Brussels, but then I live in the Flemish region around Hasselt. So when I wanted to enroll for my Dutch lessons, I went to my school and I was like, I want to enroll for my Dutch lessons. And they asked me, do you live in Brussels? I said, no. You will not believe they asked me to pay 80 euros. But if I was living in Brussels, I think I would pay like, you know, something really small. I will not even pay up to 50 euros for that same course. So this is just to tell you that enroll in your region. And then around me where I wanted to, you know, um, enroll for my Dutch lessons, I didn't pay anything in the Flemish region because this is where my um, address is. This is where I live. So try to enroll in, you know, the region or the area where you live because it's going to be cheaper. Even if it's not free, trust me, you're going to just pay something small. Another one is make use of student discounts. Remember I made a video about my cost of living and what, how much I spend in a year, especially on transportation. Guys, I've just been wasting money. Like I use, I, I pay like 46 euros in every month for my bus pass. Meanwhile, as a student, my insurance was supposed to give me like a document so that I can take it to the bus um, company office and they were going to give me a reduction. There are students here that pay 50, 51 euros. Is it 51 or 59 euros? Something either 50 euros, 51 euros or 59 euros in a whole year for the boss. And I have been paying 46 euros <laughs> every single month. Do, do, do you see that? So when you come here, please ask whatever insurance it is that you're going to sign with and I highly recommend CM they are going to give you transportation discount so you take it either for your train 
your tram, your bus. Don't go and start paying the bus every single month like I was doing. So what I'm advising is that try as much as possible to get your student discounts, okay? Discounts are in so many other places. Even some restaurants give student discounts. You know, if you want to go and buy pizza, there are some places that actually have student discounts. So always make sure that you try to benefit from this discount. This transportation one is very, very important. When you come here, you sign with your um, insurance ask them that very same day to include the transportation discount into your file so that you can take it and go and make your bus pass or your train pass or whatever because when you have the discounts when it comes to the train you only pay 50 percent of the amount so let's say that maybe i'm going to brussels and from hassle to brussels it cost me like let's say let's just say hypothetically five euros okay with that transportation discount, I'm going to pay just 2.5 euros. So with the train, you get 50% off your transportation discount. Meanwhile, with the bus, you only pay 50 something euros for the whole year. So don't sleep on that. Another point that I really want to advise you on is choosing the right network um, service or the network provider wisely, okay? Now look for a network provider which has some perks attached to it. I'm going to explain to you. Recently, I got a new phone and I, um, I'm signed with Orange. Now, this is the advantage. Since with them, I pay 20 euros monthly for my abonnement, which is my subscription. When I went to them to buy my phone, because I'm a client and because I have a monthly subscription with them, they had to give me a discount, which means that they removed 100 euros from the total amount of the money that I had to pay for the phone. So let's say that hypothetically, I had to pay 1,500 euros for this phone, but because of the fact that I am signed with Orange and I am their client and I have a monthly subscription, they had to reduce the amount and it depends on the monthly so if you even have a monthly subscription whereby you pay like 50 euros per month they might remove as much as even maybe 200 euros from the money that you're buying the phone so look for a service provider which you know that in the future they will have some certain advantages to give you i will not advise you to sign up with Leica because i don't think they have some of these advantages and also another very good service provider is proximus now one good thing about proximus is the fact that when you sign with proximus when you come here and they are your service providers when you go to buy a phone like this and you don't have the money to pay cash like i did they give students whether you're an international student whether you're a belgian you're not a belgian you are eligible because they let you pay for your phone bit by bit so for example i got the iphone 13 pro max if i was signed with um with proximus i'll be paying 61 euros every month for two good years until i pay the phone okay so those are some of the advantages so if you come and you need a new phone and you know that you don't have the money but you really need the phone you know people like proximus give you the opportunity to pay bit by bit but if you you can still sign with orange because i can attest i can vouch for them they are very good you can sign for them and they can still give you discounts but then the only difference is that you may have to pay cash orange is not really they don't really give students um payment plans like that but then they are going to give you discounts as their clients you get it so be very wise with who you choose as your service provider another point that i want to talk about is jobs i know that when students come here one thing is that they are going to be so stressed out with you know looking for jobs and all of that one good advice that i'm going to give you and this is an advice that i got from my aunt is that apply to as many interims as possible don't be comfortable with one job never as a student be comfortable with one job you are just a student you're not a permanent worker which means that at any point in time they can just put you by the side and they have their permanent workers to work with okay so i'm going to advise you that when you come here sign with randstad izu jobs um, um synergy all the interims that you can create accounts on their platform, sign, apply for as many jobs as possible. If you have as many jobs as possible, that's okay. When all of them call, choose the one that you want to go and work with, okay? It's better to have many options than not to have many, than not to have options at all. Because you will be so shocked that there's a period whereby many of these interims, they don't want students. They just, they keep telling you, hey, work is not much today, so we don't need you. Work is, and that is just, so if you are, if you are hoping on one interim, my idea you may go a whole month without working so sign with as many interims as possible when you get here and also another thing that i want to tell you is that don't come here and be so um you just come and sit you feel like because um this is 
the white man's country everything is in the system everything is good so you're just going to relax after all you have already sent your cv they are just going to call you no what i will advise you is that once you maybe applied online there's always a number they might say call follow up this Belgium, the best thing that can happen to you is following up. Never be relaxed or just sit and say, oh no, I've already, mm -mm. follow up. There's nothing wrong with following up. If it comes to the worst, even what I used to do at times that even when I have already applied online, I still go to the nearest office beside me. I still go there and tell them that, oh, I'm looking for student jobs. When you get there, they'll be like, hey, did you sign on our website? I'll be like, yes, I signed, but I'm here because I really need, because when you go to their faces, okay, they, they take you serious. And Another very important thing that I will advise you to do is to sign up with an insurance company, okay? Because when you sign with an insurance company, you have so many perks. Like if you if you visit like a house doctor, for example, you are sick because you have insurance, you're just going to pay a certain percentage of maybe the total be from your consultation to maybe going to the hospital to maybe buying um, drugs from their pharmacy, okay? So sign with an insurance company. And then the one that I use, because I know somebody may ask, which one do you use? Are you CM? And that's the one that I Lot of students use okay so you can sign with an insurance company because that same insurance company is the one that is going to help you with your transportation discount and it's also good for you because when you want to renew every year and they see that you know you are contributing to the social welfare it's to your own advantage okay so you are expected it's a must for you to have an insurance so when you come here get registered okay another very important thing that i want to talk about is applying for your social integration class now social integration class is a class whereby uh, maybe your community they organize to you know drill and educate newcomers on belgium in general they talk about the different governments they try to educate you on their different type of government and different type of communities the different type of regions why Belgians behave the way that they behave they tell you about the history they tell you about the different organizations they tell you where to go to when you have an issue you know they just drill you give you general knowledge on everything they explain how their the American system works how their social welfare system works everything that has to do with you understanding the place okay I highly recommend that you you sign up for this or you accept the invitation because they'll always send you one when I came here um they sent me an invitation like if you want to attend the social integration it's good to take it because when you take it you get free um dutch lessons because i'm signed with the social integration program my dutch lessons is actually free and also another thing that i want to say is that you know for people who want to register for citizenship or you want to you know get permanent residence in the future after five years of living in Belgium, you will still need to go and do social integration before you can be accepted as a citizen of as so as a permanent resident. So it's to your own advantage if you can do it early. And the fact that you're even doing it early shows that you are serious about knowing about the culture, you're serious about knowing about the people, and you're serious about living in Belgium, okay? It's to your own advantage. You're going to create new friends, you're going to learn new things, you're going to learn about things that will help you and all of that. They are going to for people who want to buy houses, rent houses, they expect explain them how you can buy houses and just a bunch of other things okay so i highly recommend that you register and you know enroll yourself in social integration classes it's free another thing that i want to talk about is the fact that <laughs> and i'm on this table <laughs> learn how to eat belgian food okay see for africans i understand we are used to eating our amala fufu gari plantain you know okra soup <laughs> A goosey soup. We have our own things that we like, okay. But then I'm I'm also in a process of trying to learn how to eat Belgian food because <laughs> you will never fit into the society if you are only stuck up on you know eating what you are used to, eating your own kind of things. I feel like if you really want to immerse yourself into the system, you want to get to know the people, and you want to also save because. African food is not cheap here. At times, it's just okay for you to be able to eat the Belgian food and all of that. For me personally, I would advise you to learn how to eat it because it will save you money. It will also make you, you know, be used to the people, be used to the culture, be used to the food and all that good stuff. Another important thing that I want to advise students is that when you come here, join a community. See, being an island does not help anybody in this abroad. I'm talking for myself. <laughs> 
personal experience okay being an island on Bel in this belgium is not going to help you in any way you need to belong to a community and when i talk about a community i'm talking about other students like you okay for example in this household region cameroonian students have a community then you get to meet other cameroonian students then you guys get to share ideas when you have um an issue maybe there's somebody who already faced that issue and they can give you suggestions for example i had an issue with my um, insurance because i signed as a dependent for somebody and because i have a community and other students that i talk to a solution came out okay so you never can tell even with my job like i used to do this job at ups but because i changed my location it was difficult for me to get to the to get to work because i could not use my bicycle it was too far I stopped working, but little did I know that only around me there are other students who have cars that go to UPS. Which, if I was in their community in the, before, I would just tack along and all of us would go to work. So, what I'm trying to say is that get yourself into in, in a community because you're going to learn a lot. Those are the people that are like your family ish, kind of. Because when you get into an issue, these are the people that are going to show up for you. Also, I wanted to say that all this contributing and try as much as possible to join one or two, okay? Because trust me, being an island here does not help you. You need people to get ideas, you need people to, you know, open your mind, learn new things, and just get acquainted with the place. So if you are an introvert, I'm tell sorry to say this, okay, but throw that introverted self away, okay, and try to open up. I'm not saying that you should not become lousy and just be loving with anybody and just lose yourself in the process. No, I'm just saying that don't isolate yourself, okay? Isolating yourself will not help you in any way. And another thing that I want to say, the last thing I want to say is learning how to read the Belgian weather. See, I know Belgian weather is like a pregnant woman. You know, their hormones are not balanced. They are always acting like you can see a pregnant woman, you say something funny and then she starts crying and you don't understand why she's crying because <laughs> her emotions are all over the place. That's how Belgian weather is. The sun is outside now. It's very hot. But don't be surprised that if I go outside, and after maybe five hours, rain will start falling or the wind will start blowing. Better weather is not steady. But then when you come here, learn to read the weather. Because <laughs> when I came here, I did not know how to read this weather. I would just get up in the morning because I see the place shining. I just feel like that's the weather for the whole day. And then I'll carry maybe this little t-shirt and go out. And before you know it, rain starts falling or it becomes very cold. And everybody will be looking at me like, were you not informed? Okay guys, so I've come to the end of this video. Let me know what you think about this video. Please, if you've watched this video till this point, thank you very much. Before we go, please don't forget to hit on the red subscribe button, like, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye!